Hi there, welcome to another episode of Multiplication Strategies, Tips, and Tricks. I'm Shelley Gray, and today we are talking about the three times tables. Now, first things first, before you get started on the threes with your students, they need to know the addition doubles facts. Now, this has been the case with the twos as well. Um, this is why the addition doubles need to be reinforced so well. They should really just be automatic for your students. So the addition doubles includes facts such as five plus five, two plus two, 10 plus 10, seven plus seven, three plus three, nine plus nine, etc. They should know their doubles all the way to 12 plus 12. Now, why do we need to um, know this information? Why do we need to know the doubles? So we already know, your students should already know the two times tables. And we know that the two times tables are the same as the addition doubles. So in this example, the equation two times four, we can really think of that as four plus four, two groups of four. Okay, so this is prior knowledge. We already know this. Now, when we move to three, we can just think the double plus one more group. So that double becomes very important because we're still using it. So for example, uh, in the equation three times four, we can think to ourselves, well, the double of four is eight plus one more group of four makes 12. Let's look at an example, three times five. So whenever we see a multiplication equation with a three, we can think the double plus one more group. So we want to look at that other number, the five, and think to ourselves, the double of five plus one more group of five. So first of all, the double of five is 10, and then one more group of five makes 15. Let's look at another one, three times eight. So we see that three, we think to ourselves, what can we use? We can use the double plus one more group strategy. So the double of eight plus one more group of eight. So the double of eight is 16 plus one more group of eight will give us 24. Always reinforce to your students that the order of the factors doesn't matter. When it comes to multiplication, it does not matter. So for example, the equation three times four is the exact same as four times three. No matter where the three is in that equation, we can still think the double plus one more group. In this case, the double of four is eight plus one more group of four makes 12. The next one, let's practice, seven times three. So our first step, we identify that there's a three in this equation as one of the factors. So we know that we can take the double of seven plus one more group of seven. So 14 is the double plus one more group equals 21. The next one, three times 10. First of all, we identify that there's a three. So we know that we can double the 10 and add one more group of 10. So we double the 10 to make 20, add one more group of 10 to give us 30. Let's do another one. Now this time, both factors are three. So we know that there's a three, so we still identify that there's a three. We can still use this strategy, and we're simply going to double the three, the other three this time, and do the double plus one more group. So the double of three is six, plus one more group of three gives us nine. If you would like more mental math teaching tips and strategies, please visit ShellyGrayTeaching.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day.